This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 966. Why I don't have time is a big fat lie by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And I'm Dr. Neil, your host and narrator. Hey there, happy Monday. Hope you are staying safe and well. Welcome back to another week of Optimal Health Daily. This is where I read to you from some of the best health and fitness blogs on the web, kind of like an ongoing audiobook. Now don't forget, we have five shows where we narrate blogs for you, covering a bunch of different topics. Check them all out by searching for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. Now, I'm sure coronavirus is on your mind, but I don't want this to be just the coronavirus podcast now. So I'm hoping I can distract you a little bit and talk about other things unrelated to coronavirus that you can do for optimal health. So let's get right to Steve's post today as we optimize your life. Why I don't have time is a big fat lie by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. I just don't have enough time. We've all said that before. We say, I don't have time when life gets busy or when we don't wanna feel guilty about skipping something. If we don't have enough time to work out, it's easier for us to be okay with wheezing after a flight of stairs. If we don't have enough time to prepare healthy meals, it's easier to accept our next unhealthy meal through a drive through window. If we don't have enough time to clean the house, it's easier to accept living in filth. If we don't have time to apply for new jobs and make new connections, it's easier to accept staying in a dead-end job. By the end of today, the phrase, I don't have time, will be erased from your vocabulary, Schwarzenegger style. It's not a priority. Starting today, you are no longer allowed to utter the words, I don't have time. Instead, you will say, it's not a priority. I learned this tactic from a Wall Street Journal article, and it has been monumental in changing my frame of mind. Watch how quickly your perspective shifts when looking at life's challenges this way. I'd love to work out, I just don't have time, becomes exercising isn't a priority. I'd love to eat healthier, but I don't have time to cook, becomes eating healthy isn't a priority. I don't have time to travel, becomes traveling isn't a priority. Suddenly, the excuse of time becomes an incredibly weak argument. Oh, shoot. Stings a bit, huh? The real truth. I can see you begging and pleading right now. Steve, these things are a priority, but there aren't just enough hours in the day. As J.D. Roth, founder of Get Rich Slowly, simply stated during his talk at the World Domination Summit, quote, it's not what we say is a priority, but what we actually do that's a priority, end quote. J.D. shared how he used to tell his friend, oh, I love reading, I just don't have time for it. In reality, J.D. was just putting everything else in front of reading, watching TV, staying up late, surfing the internet, and so on. Once he realized how he was prioritizing his life, he started analyzing where his precious time was going. How you choose to spend your time defines your priorities. I spent an entire year telling myself that I wanted to learn a new language but I never seemed to find the time. It wasn't because I didn't have enough time, it's because I never made learning a new language a priority. After lying to myself for a year, I just ordered a Portuguese phrase book from Amazon. No, seriously, I bought it just now, halfway through writing this article. So, what are your priorities? We have 168 hours in a week. Time is our most precious resource. Your priorities, whether you say so or not, are where you choose to spend those hours. Make the most of them. It's amazing how much time you can find when you minimize the things that aren't important to make room for the things that are. So where do you spend your time? Just like keeping a food journal can be eye-opening, try tracking your time over the next few days in 30-minute blocks. How much time do you spend on the computer, watching TV, and so on? I bet you'll be surprised. Suddenly, wild productivity appears. The 10 hours of TV each week become less important. The late nights on Facebook and WoW become more apparent. The unproductive hours spent sitting at your desk working without actually working become clear. It's not what you say that's important to you, it's what you do that's important to you. I know you can get a great workout in 20 minutes, so I refuse to accept anybody telling me that they don't have time to work out. I challenge you, starting today, to erase the phrase I don't have time from your vocabulary. Instead, say, it's not a priority. 
and then decide what you actually want your priorities to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some Portuguese to learn. You just listened to the post titled, Why I Don't Have Time is a Big Fat Lie by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Not having time, that's probably the biggest excuse I hear whenever I'm counseling patients when it comes to diet, when I've trained clients, even when I've talked to people about managing the stress. I don't have time to manage my stress. Does that make any sense when you really think about it? No. I've had retired people tell me they just don't have time to do these things. And so when I hear this excuse, I'll reframe things for them. So I'll ask them, how much time do you think you spend showering every day, brushing your teeth, combing your hair, putting on makeup, picking out what clothes you're going to wear, and so on? So they'll give me a number like, oh, well, let's see, that takes about, oh, I would say an hour and a half. And I'd say, okay, so it takes you an hour and a half to do these things. How would you define all of these things? Brushing your teeth, showering, looking your best, how would you define that? And they usually say something like, well, I'm taking care of myself, or I'm caring for myself, or I'm caring for my body, something like that. And I go, bingo. What is exercise? What's stress management? What's cooking a nutritious meal? And then you see their eyes widen and that imaginary light bulb above their heads go off. What's exercise? What's eating nutritiously? What's managing your stress better? Those are all forms of self-care too. So you make time to take care of yourself in other ways. Those are priorities. Let's make these forms of self-care priorities as well. And usually after that little bit of back and forth, I don't hear about time being an issue so much anymore. All right, that'll do it for the Monday episode. I hope you have a wonderful start to your week and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.